The world is constantly changing, bringing some unimaginable phenomena. The human population is growing, so a lot of living space is needed. The origins of cities are expanding, but do you know that new cities are being made for the future? Yes, you heard right. Brand new cities are being built, which will stand out from the others in their appearance, technological progress, and sustainability. Many of these cities will be a real tourist attraction, but they will also be a real place to enjoy and live. Welcome to the Apex Channel. In today's video, we will talk about Qatar's mega project, the future Lusail City. You will hear about its construction, technological progress, and what the city will look like. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and press the notification button to not miss the next video. If you've done all this, we can get started. Not one to stay idle in the face of rapid change, Qatar is making strides in nurturing its human capital, instilling uncompromising social welfare values, promoting a diversified and domestically competitive economy, and driving a forward-thinking environmental agenda, driven by a spirit of restless progress that is emboldened by the Qatar National Vision 2030. Against this background, a new futuristic development emerges, Lusail. It is located to the north of the Lusail sediment, a historical cultural beacon that includes the Founder's Fort, which served as the center of government by the founder of the state of Qatar, Sheikh Jassam bin Mohammed Al Thani in the early 1900s. Rooted in authentic Qatari heritage and cultural values, the name Lusail was derived from one of Qatar's rarest flowers, an emblem of the city's uniqueness and the seamless fusion between Doha's heritage and contemporary transformation. Lusail extends across an area of 38 square kilometers and includes four exclusive islands and 19 multi-purpose residential, mixed-use, entertainment, and commercial districts. Featuring 22 hotels with international star ratings, Lusail's vibrant multicultural hodgepodge promises a boon for hospitality, tourism, and investments in Qatar. The city will be home to more than 200,000 residents of its scenic surroundings, 170,000 professionals in its 19 districts, and 80,000 visitors to its entertainment, recreation, and retail and hospitality facilities, a population of nearly 450,000 people. Each of Lucille's districts features an array of residential, commercial, hospitality, and retail destinations, integrating communal living in a self-contained model complete with schools, mosques, medical facilities, as well as sport, entertainment, and shopping centers. Lush greenery and pocket parks across Lusail's neighborhoods, residential and commercial areas, as well as two major park networks, the Crescent Park and the Wadi Park, bring to life Lusail City's green, sustainable living ambitions, creating ample space for walkways, sports fields, and bicycle lanes, as well as open access to marina promenades and water bodies. The first phase of Lusail, the Marina District, is the lively hub of the city, overlooking the marinas and featuring residential, mixed-use, commercial, and hotel waterfront properties and spaces, with large open areas leading to the seaside boardwalk. The Marina District will be serviced by a light rail transit network that will connect to the rest of Lusail City and underground stations, all linked directly to underground car parking facilities. Will the city also have a center for recreation and enjoyment? Of course! Al Tarfa is Lusail's hub for landmark attractions, as well as for leisure and recreation activities and venues, integrated seamlessly into a sustainable, sophisticated urban environment. The city features a host of retail and fine dining experiences, residential and office spaces, hotels, theme parks, theaters, fitness centers, as well as a cinema multiplex. Plans are underway to develop a major museum, park, and luxury hotels with public and private beaches. The jewel of the district, Place Vendôme, stretches over 1 million square meters. The Parisian-inspired development pays ode to the famous high-end shopping street in Paris, Rue de la Paix, where Place Vendôme originated. The destination is home to two five-star luxury hotels, a mall featuring up to 600 different retail outlets with an exclusively luxurious wing dedicated to top designer labels, and a central entertainment hub of landmark attractions and experiences. Well, it will be a lot of splendor and luxury, don't you think? The Lusail City is also the center of sports events, so the area will have the iconic Lusail Stadium for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 and closing of the FIFA 2022 games to be held in Doha. This stadium will have a seating capacity of up to 80,000 spectators with fan zone entertainment areas. But what about the downtown city? 
a paragon for uniquely modern, integrated lifestyle experiences, downtown Lucille captivates the energy and vibrant spirit of Doha's cosmopolitan urbanism in three flagship destinations. The Commercial Street, the Plaza, and the Seif come together to create a truly distinct community, a melting pot of cultures, people, and businesses that are reshaping the face of Qatar. Commercial Street is the heart of Lucille, pulsating throughout the 1.3-kilometer district. It comprises a range of mixed-use, upscale retail, and premium residential units, all intricately architected and designed against world-class quality standards to the last detail. Its public realm, size, and buildings are modeled after the Avenue des Champs-Élysées, an international experience brought to life by prestigious shopping outlets and a range of mixed-use residential, leisure, and cultural activities with a GFA of 250,000 square meters. The commercial subdistrict's urban plan is meticulously designed for pedestrian street shopping and dining, facilitating intramobility through its connection to Lucille City's underground parking, which will accommodate 2,000 parking spaces. Four iconic towers of 50 and 70 floors define the Plaza Premium District, a pedestrian unique urban realm overlooking the sea. The four towers, the impressive landmark, feature low-level podium buildings at their bases, creating a series of interconnected unique public spaces that host a wide range of activities and venues. The glorious luxury waterfront development of downtown Lucille, the Seif, is a high-profile district under Lucille's master plan, extending over 520,000 square meters of land. Via its 2.3-kilometer pristine promenade, the destination permeates into the ebb and flow of the sea. Cutting through the Lucille coast, the Seif directly overlooks the city's Katifan Islands crown jewels on one side and Fox Hills on the other. Despite all the advanced technology and urbanization, the city also thought about the ecological sustainability and conservation of the species that live there. Lucille's landscape strategy was designed to protect on-site natural habitats, enhance its ecological value, reverse desertification, promote biodiversity around 40% of total species of native vegetation, stretching over 3.5 million square meters. The city has endorsed, accordingly, a water-sensitive landscape plan to minimize water consumption. The city's shoreline, extending over 27 kilometers, is also outlined by an artificial reef forming of stone revetment walls for various flora and fauna, and concrete retention walls creating an entirely new marine environment at the center of the peninsula. Lucille offers fertile grounds for a tech-powered environment, an interconnected network of people, nature, and infrastructure for a model sustainability of the future. The city's master plan is built on the district and neighborhood concept, integrating all civic facilities in each district to reduce travel distances for community living and services. So, would you like to live here? In this city, you will live, work, and enjoy yourself very easily. So get ready, pack your bags, and head straight for Lucille City. Hope you enjoyed the video and understood what a mega project it is. Leave us your comments in the section below because we'd love to hear them. Don't forget to subscribe to our video and smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Click the bell to not miss any more videos like this. Maybe next time you'll watch us from Lucille City, who knows?